Shot glasses. I made these out of some tamarind wood and it turned out way better than I expected. I'm resawing some tamarind wood into rectangular blocks and then marking the center of each rectangular block before I can put it on the lathe. Now I've made sure that each block has a part of the darker heartwood and the lighter colored sapwood. This will give it a really cool natural decorative look. We don't usually get tamarind wood around here, so I salvaged a small block out of some firewood and I want to see how this turns out. After rounding over the rectangular block, I'm adding a pencil mark towards one end and removing some wood to narrow down that part. Now this will allow me to mount this piece of wood on my chuck so that I can continue further shaping. I'm reducing the diameter of the base to about 2.5 inches and once that's done, I can mount it on my chuck. Making sure that there's a tight snug fit eliminates any wobbling and just makes it easier to work with. Now the shot glass I want to make will be about 65mm in length. So I'm marking out the length with a pencil and then creating a deeper line with my skew chisel. The wooden shot glass will curve towards the bottom with a top diameter of 45mm and a bottom diameter of about 35mm. Now once I've gotten close to the size, I recheck the dimensions and then check for any cracks that may be on this wooden piece. I'm using some sawdust and quick dry glue to fill in the cracks and once the glue dries, I'm using my skew chisel to clean it up. Next, I reposition my tool rest so I can hollow out the inside of the wooden shot glass. I'm using a combination of a half inch spindle gouge and a skew chisel for the inside of the shot glass. My skew chisel does most of the work here. I just have to ensure that I use the skew chisel with a narrow head as there isn't a lot of space inside the shot glass to work with. Once I've reached the desired depth, I thin out the walls of the shot glass and then uh, I rearrange my tool rest again to run a few finishing passes on the outside of the glass. With all the carving work complete, it's time to start sanding. I start with 80 grit sandpaper and work my way all the way up to 320 grit. Once the surface is smooth, I'm applying a food safe finish made by ICA. I apply two coats and once it's dry, it's time to remove the wooden shot glass from the lathe. There you go, a wooden shot glass made out of tamarind wood. I really liked how the heartwood and the sapwood combine for a completely natural looking wooden shot glass. I'm going to be making a few more of these, but I'll probably experiment with a few more wood types and see how those come along.